Hi guys, I'm Jenny Chu, and this is Julia Baker. And um, we became friends recently? Nah. We've been friends for a little bit, but never to the magnitude of I am now at her family's Thanksgiving. <laughs> and when we first met and became friends, I never thought that would happen. But through the negatives and through things that seem like negatives, mm -hmm. that's more like it, things that yeah. seem like negatives in your life, way more beautiful things can arise. Mm -hmm. For example, this friendship right mm -hmm. here. And I, through my seemingly negative situation, I got my dream job. And I guess the biggest lesson there is be a good person or whatever, you know? That's my thing. Just be a good fucking person. <laughs> All right. So I met Ginny when we were going to Rio for the Olympics in 2016 um, as reporters. And the reason that we became friends, I think, is that um, I was drawn to Ginny's like, honesty and vulnerability even in that time. And um, like she would talk about stuff the way that I hadn't heard people be honest about before. And then the first time I think that we reconnected was after she shared her first video. So she shared her video, I was driving, and I was like, I need to watch this. And I listened to what she was saying and I started crying because it was so um, vulnerable and real and um, rel relatable, really. Like it was the first time you always see people on social media sharing about how um, beautiful and perfect their life is and to turn it around and be like this is something that I'm going through that's difficult I think that that really attracted me and it was also like I knew Jenny through Rio and I was like this is a beautiful person inside and out and she's so gentle and caring and to see to see her in that state was frustrating because I was like why would anyone do this to a soul so sweet and so I was sad for her, but sad because also thinking about how many people go through the same thing um, and don't talk about it and just live that experience on their own. I thought it was really brave and courageous to be like, I'm going through something that's not fun and I want you guys to be a part of this journey. And the thing that struck me most was when she was talking about it, she said she was excited to see how much she would grow. And I was like, wow. Wouldn't it be cool if we all had that perspective? But we all can have that perspective, but I think that the first step in getting there and being excited to grow is kind of letting go of the things that are holding you back from growing. So I, I um, reached out to Jenny just to let her know that I was thinking of her and then just kind of kept in touch through that and then would send each other like quotes or um, stories or pictures or poetry or whatever that we found was helpful and if I found it helpful in my healing I would share with Jenny she would share with me that was the first time I really had someone who um, one didn't try to rush my healing and understood that it was gonna take some time and someone who was kind of going through the same thing at the same time um, and it was I think that we drew on each other's strength so everyone has good days and bad days and I think that our friendship kind of matched each other in that like on my good days she might have been having a harder day and so she could come to me and I could be like no we got this. Also seeing the amount of people that feel the same way that we do but don't have someone to kind of go through it with them. Mm -hmm. So I think for me like the coolest part of this healing process has been having someone um, to do it with. <laughs> And it is cool because we also talk about how there's so many blessings that come out of something like this. We talk about that all the time, like a platform for sharing about like how hard it is to go through something like this, but also how wonderful it is and how it can bring people together. And so I think that like for both of us, this brought about a friendship that would have never happened. And now she's at my Thanksgiving. I don't know. It's, it's finding people that are in your corner and that support you and, um, we would not have become this close had something like this happened to both of us and we like went through it together um, and tried to go through our healing together, we would not be here right now. And I'm grateful for you know Julia and for all the other people who have come to me for this and who you know we've, we've gone through this journey together. Um, I have friends all the time that reach out to me and like, you know, I'm going through this, I'm going through that. Um, in a similar 
type of situation. Um, how did you do it? How did you get through it? How are, how are you striving and shining after <laughs> all of that? And um, I mean, I'm here to help because I didn't know how I was going to make it through. I was like, I'm not going to make it through this um, at times. But then when you, you have someone to look at and be like, hey, look, she did it and she's still doing it. It gives you some motivation to keep going. Yes. I think that's what struck me about Jenny's video. I was like, oh my gosh, she looks so strong and so courageous by sharing. And here I was the whole time just kind of trying to do it on my own because I thought that that was like, that would show a true, true test of. I think that the reason why I got through it, like you're like, I have not gotten through it. Let me take that back. <laughs> the reason why I, my healing has been going so well for me is because I wasn't like, oh, I'm ashamed. I'm not gonna tell anyone that this happened to me and I'm gonna suffer alone. It's like, no. This should happen to me, like, and I'm gonna be okay eventually, and we're gonna look back and laugh. So I'm not saying everyone go make a vlog about the, all the horrible <laughs> things that have ever happened in your life. Um, but share. But yeah, go to your friends, go to your family, and, and be open and willing to admit that things aren't perfect, because if I kept trying to act like everything was okay, I would be not okay. Not where I'm at right now. Um, so yeah. What was the purpose of all of this? Um, beautiful friendship arose from a moment of vulnerability. That has led me to so much beautiful shit. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>